five to three vote, Detroit City Council members today ratified a proposal on work that is already being done. Council approved a contract for the Chicago firm to repair a portion of the city's bus fleet, work that the company has been doing for about a month now. TV50's Michael Neal explains. As anybody who rides the buses in Detroit on a regular basis knows, they often do not run on a regular basis. That's because hundreds of the coaches need repair. The goal was to have 150 of those buses back in service this fall. But even before a contract was awarded, came word that many of the buses needing repair had already been delivered to Blitz, a Chicago bus rebuilding company. The FBI announced it was looking into the situation. Council members were angered and vowed they would certainly not take action to approve the contract until City Transportation Director Robert Polk appeared before them to explain. I will be the individual who is responsible for sending... But Polk told council members Blitz appeared to be the only company able to handle the volume of buses needing repair and contended he did not understand the city bidding and contract award process. He just wanted to get the job done. While I understand what your intent was, the fact is that uh, the bidding process and the charter have been violated. I, I agree with what you're saying. I guess in, in, in my zeal and quest to get some buses on the street, and in my, as I understood it, in, in terms of the, the sole source, when, when I first looked at this, I was not looking at a bid process. I, w I was looking at, at, a, at a sole source, and maybe my view was narrow, but my intent was to get some buses on the street. When all was said and done, Polk promised it wouldn't happen again, and council members indicated they'd okay the contracts. The bottom line is we need buses on the street. But the awarding of the contracts will not entirely solve the problem. The cost is higher than expected, nearly $6.8 million, and at best that will add 85 to 90 buses to the street fleet. So the administration is expected later this year to ask for more money to send more buses to the repair shop. In Detroit, Mike O'Neill, TV 15.